So this video is going to be about the GTX 590 compared to its closest competition in terms of power and noise. So that would be the 6990 as well as two GTX 580s in SLI. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an idle temperature as well as an idle power reading on the GTX 590. So the idle temperature right now is uh, about 35 or 36 degrees depending on whether we can actually get the camera to focus for you guys or not there we go so 30 let's say 35 degrees on the GPU cores and then we've also got our idle power at the wall being about 96 watts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put audio snippets at the end of the video so if you just want to see just if you just want to hear how these cards compare to each other in terms of noise, then you can skip there. Otherwise, I'll show you guys the temperatures and power consumption all along for all these different solutions. Just so you guys know, for the max power, I am using the batch size test as recommended by SkyMTL from Hardware Canucks. I'm going to repeat that test. So that'll give me a nice high GPU temperature as well as a maximum power load. So here we go. So our load power consumption for the GTX 590 clocks in at around 340 watts so we're just going to record that as 340 and uh, you can see there's a cat investigating it and our maximum temperatures after running this particular little benchmark or rather our stable temperatures are 78 and 79 degrees on each of the GPU so we'll call that 79 and I really wish that window would go away. I don't care. I don't care. 78. So there you go, guys. Or 79, rather. Um, so we'll go ahead and record that in our little uh, power. Wow, there really is quite a dramatic difference between the maximum power and the, uh, and the minimum power. NVIDIA has really done a good job of uh, clocking down the GPU when it's not being used. You can see right now it's actually stepping down right now. So it goes all the way down to 51 megahertz on the GPU. Focus, there you go. Very nice, very cool. All right, so there's my idle power consumption for the Radeon 6990. So we'll call that 132. And I should write that on my handy little chart at some point. And then, um, oh, hold on. Let's just do that. And then here are my idle temperatures. So it settles in around 41 degrees on the GPU that has less ventilation, so the one at the back of the card, and 39 degrees on the GPU at the front of the card. So there's our idle values. So here's the max power consumption of the Radeon HD 6990. For the sake of argument, why don't we say around 400... varies. Let's take the peaks almost the peak so we'll say about 405 watts because it sort of rises and dips so we're running the 3d mark test and uh, let's have a look at what we achieved in terms of maximum temperatures bringing up afterburner here so our max temps peak this is artificial um, but they peaked at around 85 and 82 degrees on both of the GPUs. So here I'm just gonna eh, make it focus, focus, focus. Thank you. All right, so 85 and 82 degrees were my peak temperatures on the GPUs. So let's call that a 150 watt idle total system power draw. And uh, bearing in mind that all of these numbers for the power are coming through an 80 plus silver power supply. So you gotta kind of uh, factor that in if you want to figure out how much power they're actually consuming. So this is two GTX 580s. Uh, both of them are stock clocked reference designs. And our idle temperatures uh, actually come in similar on one of them. Okay, so similar on this one. This is the bottom GPU at 34 degrees and then quite a bit higher. So the reason that second one is quite a bit higher is that there's only that much space for the fan to draw air in, whereas the GTX 590 is getting fresh air for both of the GPUs going out either side. So uh, let's get some load temps and load power consumption going on here and then we will have some commentary. 
At about 465 watts, the GTX 580 solution consumes the most power out of all of the configurations that are here. So that's uh, going with the two dedicated dual GPUs rather than a single dual GPU card. Uh, in both cases, consumes more power. It is um, the highest performing solution out of all of the ones that we've looked at. So that's to be considered as well. Although sometimes the margin is substantial and other times it's less substantial. Uh, no, it's fairly substantial for the most part, just looking at uh, at these numbers here. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll show you the load temps. It's me in my pink shirt. So for load temps, we're looking at 82 and 77 degrees. So that GPU uh, that is starving for air in the middle uh, really, well, does starve for air a little bit. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. So stay tuned, and I'm going to show you all the audio samples from these cards. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.